As we saw from the first video on the 14 footer when I was in Golden the other night, most of these lights weren't working. You know, there's nothing up here. The tail lights were working, so what I'll do, I'm going to replace one of those with a uh, with an LED light and then get a photo so we can see the difference. But then most of these old lights, they're not working. It's usually just something simple. Well, look at that. There's no bulb in there, but all that moisture, and so there's no ground. Something's rusted or something. So I'm just going to take these right off and throw them out and put on new ones. I'm just going to connect to the existing wiring that's in there right now. I'm not sure, but I may be ripping out all the wiring inside and starting from scratch. But for now, I want to get the trailer working. So at least it's usable as I fix it up. I don't want it to be in a million pieces all over the place. So I'll replace with uh, new lights there now. And we'll start probably with this one. So I've got the truck plugged in, four ways on, and the lights are on. Uh, so you can see my big tail lights are working. Signal lights were working, the brake lights were working, I checked them. But as we look on a lot of these, I noticed these ones the other night, sometimes they were, oh yeah, there, that one's got something on it. Yeah, this one here, I can see a light working on the inside. Let's just rip that off. These are garbage. So there, that one's got a light. Oh, see? So there, it's got moisture on it or something, eh? So they were loose. But that tells me at least I've got power coming up to here inside, so it should be no problem fixing these other ones. And this here could be burnt out bulb, corrosion, could be the wiring in behind. And yeah, this one, look how loose this one was in there. So these are, oh yeah, there, there was some power getting to that one. You might not be able to see it with the light I've got. So there's some power getting to that. So it's always something like that, just something easy, to either rust or corrosion or some kind of crapola. I don't have to worry about being too gentle with these because I know I'm throwing them out. I don't know if you can see from there, but lots of rust and corrosion. Just get these off. So what I've got coming out here should be two wires. Uh, I'll have to test them here. He's got white and green. Uh, it's not quite right. Unless, because these should just be running lights. They shouldn't be signal lights. Usually the right hand side wire is green. And it, uh, that's for the signal lights. This I believe should be the brown wire or running light. I mean as long as I know what it's for right now. I'll hook it up. So we'll hook it up and see what happens. Let's just cut these off. Doesn't give me a lot to work with. I'll get all this crap off. See, they probably shouldn't have sealed around here. They probably, I think the best thing to do would be just to goop up these actual holes themselves and then screw your, uh, screw your lights on and maybe a little bit of goop on these small holes here. All the way around like that, it just looks like crap. And it's not really doing anything. Now I've got a watch here, I'm gonna... I don't wanna lose my wires. I think I'm gonna fish them out through the same hole. I don't have a lot to play with here. Now I may have found out why they're on sale. And now I may be missing something here. These are the red ones. They've only got one wire coming out of them for power. Not sure how I'm supposed to ground these. Uh, here's the amber cat's eye one. They've got the two wires. I may be missing something here. If anybody knows, fill me in. I'll do a little more research, but uh, otherwise, if these are defects, I'll have to take them back. Okay, should be no worries. I popped the cap off. I see over here when I put the screw in, they've got the metal connection there. So this will be the ground connection. Now I fished the wires through so they're both coming through the same hole, just easier to work with. I usually like to leave a little extra length and then just shove whatever back just for this reason, to make it easier to work with. Uh, so now I think what I'll do, on, so that should be my ground, that should be my power. I'll turn on the lights and then I'll put my test light to it, we'll see what works. Now what I've done here is I've just taken one of the amber lights, it's supposed to be a red one up here, but the amber had the two uh, wires on it just to make it easier to work with. I just want to test it. I was touching these earlier, so there's uh, 
This is white to white, so that white should be ground, and this should be power, this green one. Technically, I believe it should be a brown wire. Uh, for a couple seconds there, this was lighting up, and my test light was lighting up, but uh, now I'm not getting anything. So that leads me to believe that somewhere inside, these two wires aren't making a good connection somewhere. I'll turn the lights off in the truck and then try it again. Now, the lights are still on on the truck, as, so this is the back of the trailer. If you recall earlier, this was getting some power, but now it's not getting anything. So this leads me to believe that the wiring just inside here, where it all connects together, it's uh, loose or shorting or something like that. So I'm going to go inside that cupboard on the inside and uh, take a look. Okay, here's the inside the cupboard, the overhead cupboard at the back of the trailer. See right now there's no access. I'm going to have to cut a slit in here to access those wires. So I'll do that. I'd not really worry if it's hidden away. I may even be replacing this later on, depending if I can find something within the right price range. Now inside the back here, actually this, so this unit does fold down into a top bunk. Don't know how often it'll be used. I guess when the top bunk is down, if I do slice that, it may be visible. Uh, I'm going to go for it anyway, I think. So there, there's some of the wiring coming through there. So I'll just fiddle around with that and see if, I'll shake these up a bit and see if anything comes on. So I've got this ripped open, just checking the wiring. So you can see how it is here, all these holes, like these are just open holes. So these actually should be caulked. The holes themselves should be caulked with some kind of putty or whatever, instead of how they had it with silicone around each light. It looks like crap. So I've just got to check this wire here. Like I say, it's not the right color coating. The white is correct. I may end up replacing all this wiring. We'll see. I'll play with it for a bit and see what happens. I have a pretty good guess as to what the problem might be. See all these wires are all hooked together in, in series. So it goes from this one to this one. And it goes over to the next one, the next one, and so on and so on. So at every connection, there could be corrosion. So sometimes it touches, sometimes it doesn't. So I'll have to go over each one of those connections. If that's the case, the wire might still be good and I can just leave it. So I'll do that. I'll have to work on all the lights and then see if it works once I get it all done.